Welcome to January's Link Code Challenge. Today's problem is merge k sorted lists. You are given an array of k linked lists. Lists. Each linked list is sorted in ascending order. Merge all the linked lists into one sorted linked list and return it. If you recall with merging two sorted linked lists, we could use the two pointer solution. What we do is point to the head of both of these linked lists, check to see which one is less, add that to a output linked list, and then move that pointer ahead. Uh, once we finish with one of the linked lists, we will add the remainder, since these are both sorted, uh, the remainder to our output. And that's gonna create a merged sorted list. Uh, but the problem with that is we have K sorted lists, right? So why don't we use that two sorted, merging two sorted linked lists, uh, but do it just iteratively for like one and two, then whatever gets returned out of that, we'll add three, then whatever returns out of that, we'll add four and so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is use a write a helper method, call this helper, and this is gonna just merge two sorted linked lists. And we'll just have the L1 and L2. These are the heads of both the linked lists. So we will first initialize a dummy pointer as well as a current pointer with the list node, just whatever is zero. And while we have L1 and L2, we are first gonna check to see which one is less. If L1.value is less than L2.value, then we will add the L1 value to current.next. Uh, we're gonna have to regenerate the linked list uh, or the node. We'll say node.l1.value like this. Uh, make sure to move ahead our L1 to the next one. And if otherwise the opposite is true, then we will just make it list node of L2.value and move ahead our L2 instead. Make sure to move ahead our current pointer as well. Otherwise we will just be continually adding or replacing the next one with the same th uh, with a different list node. Once that's finished, we need to check to see what's remaining. So if L1 is remaining, then make that equal to current.next. Uh, otherwise, if L2 is remaining, then make that equal to current.next. Finally, we just return our dummy.next, which is gonna be the head of this merged sorted linked list. So now that we have our helper method, uh, what we can do is first initialize our output to be the list of zero. And for the remaining linked list, we are gonna run our helper method. So for L in list, starting with the second one, let's just input output with the helper as well as the L, and finally return the output here. So this solution would work. Uh, we do need to care of some edge cases, like if uh, not list, then we should just return nothing. Otherwise, if list or the length of list is one, we also should just return list dot zero. None of this matters right here. So let's make sure this works. Um, and this should get accepted. Uh oh. But it doesn't. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so this doesn't work. Um, apparently it's too slow. Uh, I could have sworn this used to work, but I guess it doesn't work anymore. So can we do better than this? Well, let's think about how we might be able to check to see each one of these heads of the linked list and what sort of data structure we can take advantage of to check which one is the minimum between all, all like three or four K one of these. So right now, I guess it's inefficient because we are iteratively checking uh, each one and it's gonna do a lot of extra work. We are sort merging and essentially sorting two and then doing it all over again and again and again. So can we do it all at the same time somehow? Some variation of what we just did, but checking all K lists. The problem is we don't know how many there are. So what data structure would help us keep track of what's the minimum here? What about a heap? What if we added to a heap the head of each one of our linked lists, check to see which one is less, or the least one, the minimum one, pop that off, and keep track of which linked list we pop that off of. So we'd have to keep track of the index number. And we have that here, 
linked list one is zero, linked list two is one, so on and so forth. And each time we pop off, we could just update our list to now move ahead our linked list to the next one. Make sure to now add that one to our heap and then just continue on the algorithm until we've exhausted all one of these lists. And that should be a lot more efficient. We are doing a variation of the two pointer, but except we're using a heap to keep track of all of this. So let's try that. What I'm going to do is instead of using our two pointer solution, I'm going to create a heap. And this is going to be an empty list. So for everything in our list, we're going to get the top pointer or the head pointer. And we need to enumerate this. So we'll get the index value as well as the, uh, I guess I'll just call it L. For I of L in enumerate lists, we will add to our heap. And to do that, we have to do a heap push to our heap here. But keep in mind, we need to keep track of the index number. That's why we pulled it out here. So let's get the value of our head and keep track of our index like this. Now, one thing to note is it's possible that one of these linked lists is actually empty. So we should just say, look, if, if there's an L, then do that. So let's make sure this looks like what I think it should. And this should have 112. Oops. Oh, okay, we printed it, of course. Yeah, so this is the index number 0, 1, 2, and these are the head values, 1, 1, 2. Now, these are all in a heap right now, right? So all we need to do is pop off the minimum 1, and what we're going to do is move ahead our list at that index number and then add that to the heap again. So I guess we'll have to have an output here. Uh, and what should I make this? Well, it'll be the same thing. I'll say dummy equals current. This will be a list node of zero. So while there's a heap, what do we want to do? We want to first pop off the minimum one. And that's going to be done automatically for us. We can just say heap pop off of the H. And it's going to pop off the index, uh, well, the value, right? And call that value and our index number. So now that we have that, we need to add that to the next current pointer. So current next is going to equal to list node value. And we also need to make sure that we're going to move ahead our list node so that we could add to our heap the next one from the linked list that we just popped off of. So how are we going to do this? Well, I suppose we say if list i dot next exists, then we're going to pop that off and add it to our heap. So the heap, we will heap push to our heap list i dot next. And I guess we need to get the value as well as the i that we. Now, one thing we need to note is we need to make sure that we move ahead our list i to the next one. So list i is going to equal list i dot next. Finally, make sure to move our current pointer. And that might be it. Let's return our dummy.next. See if I missed anything. And that looks like it's working. So let's see if this works. There we go. That's accepted. It's much more efficient. The other one might be easier to understand, but this is the better solution. Um, obviously, when we're kind of taking care of that sorting all at once, it's going to be a lot more efficient. We're not going to be doing repeat work. All right. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.